I'm Zoe Dunning, retired Navy commander. I had many inspirations for entering into the military. Um, my parents had both served in the military, and in particular, it was interesting to have a mother who had served in the WACs in World War II. Um, it was sort of a unique background. And my mother was um, a tremendous leader in her own way. I also met a gal who was just completing her plea year at West Point when I was at Girls State, and just talking to her inspired me to consider a military career. I was drawn to a military career in terms of service to my country, serving something greater than you know, um, just myself. And also, the academy itself seemed very interesting to me because it developed you not just mentally, but also morally and physically. I entered the Naval Academy, graduated, and served six years on active duty, and then entered the reserve. So I ended up doing 22 years in the military, all combined between uh, active duty and the reserves. Um, during the time that I was in the reserves, I entered business school got my MBA from Stanford, and uh, started a career in business consulting. It wasn't until I actually got to a military academy and felt this um, sort of, in the air was just this hanging idea that you shouldn't be here. Like, women do not deserve to be here. You do not deserve to be in the military. That was kind of the first time I really experienced, in my face, sort of discrimination and um, prejudice. So what inspired me to sort of take on the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell as, as a advocacy um, uh, interest is, you know, for a, a cause for myself, a legacy. Everyone was talking about it except for those who were, by definition, the most impacted, which were gays and lesbians in the military. They were forced to be silent by the policy. A friend of mine, Jolie Justice, who is a senator in Missouri, says, if you don't have a seat at the table, you're probably on the menu. And so it's important to me that women have voice in policy decisions, and that was one of the most inspiring reasons why I came out. Um, I love the Madeleine Albright quote that there's a special place in hell for women who don't help other women. And so I think it is important for us as we get older and become more senior that we actually reach down and, and help mentor other younger women. I do think that it's really important that we have women at all levels of organizations to serve as role models for those who first enter it um, and help chart that career path for young women and young girls. I think we assume that we have to do it on our own, we have to be independent, and no one's successful by themselves. Uh, it takes a team effort and it really takes the ability to reach out and um, get others input and feedback to help you be successful. I've been on both sides of the closet door and I can't tell you how much freer you feel once you have no more secrets to hide and people are accepting you for truly who you are. So I always encourage young girls to you know, come out when they're comfortable, obviously, and, and um, come out to their families. I would tell young girls who are watching this video to be true to yourself, don't care what others think, just be yourself, be out there, and you will be successful. Reach for the stars.